tonight was born to fight Mythical, so mystical, think what you like how are you all I really hope you all are doing good so to make your own body chain you will need ribbon I'm using black velvet ribbon because I love velvet and you will also need some studs or embellishment of your own choice fabric glue thread and needle and some jewelry hooks and chain which is optional now first we will be creating our neck chain so for that measure the ribbon around your neck and mark it with a tape or any marker and then cut it from wherever you have marked. You will have a piece of a ribbon for your neck which should look something like this. Now to protect the ends of your neck chain fold the end of your neck chain like this and stitch it with needle and thread. You can also use fabric glue to protect the end but I wanted to show you different methods so I am just stitching the ends here. Here I will take out hook and chain from my old bracelet and stitch it to the ends of my neck chain. You can use longer ribbon strip if you don't want to use hook and chain and you can just tie it at the back of your neck and you are good to go. I am using needle and thread to stitch it to the ends of my neck chain. You can also use glue gun. And after stitching or gluing, this is how your neck chain should look. Now we will decorate it using stud and fabric glue. Apply a thin line of glue in the center of the ribbon. Make sure you are not applying it all at once because you don't want the glue to dry in the air. Now once done, start placing the studs on top of the glue carefully. Your neck chain should look like this once you have applied the studs on top of the ribbon. Press the studs so that the fabric and the studs are nicely glued together. Keep your neck chain aside and take a fresh uh, piece of ribbon and fold the end like this. Use a t-shirt or a top as a guide and place the initial end of ribbon on topmost part of the top because we will be attaching this part of the ribbon to the neck chain we prepared. Now decide the length of the central part of your body chain based on your liking. Now once you've decided the length of your center chain, cut off the extra ribbon. Now fold around half an inch or an inch of the ribbon from the initial part of your strip and then apply the glue in a line like this. Now start a pink stud on top of glue in the same way as we did for our neck chain. Your center chain should look like this after you have applied studs on top of your ribbon. Now take a fresh ribbon and measure it around your waist or wherever you want your bottom chain to be. You can use your any t-shirt as a guide and double up the ribbon because you want your ribbon to wrap up your entire waist. Now we will secure the ends of our bottom chain. I've just folded the initial part of the ribbon and I'm using fabric glue to secure it. Next, I'm stitching chain and hook to my bottom chain as well. Next, we will decorate our bottom chain as well like we did before. You should have these three pieces by now. One for the neck, one for the center part and one for the bottom part. Now, you will be attaching center part like so. Next, we will be attaching the initial part of our center chain to our neck chain like this and make sure it is forming a loop because you want your neck chain to move or slide through the loop. I am using fabric glue to stick my center chain to the neck chain. 
in the same way attach the other part of your center chain to your bottom chain Next, take other strip of ribbon and measure it diagonally like this and double it up. This will be your side chain. Once you have measured, cut the desired length of the ribbon and take fresh um, roll of ribbon and double it up because you want two side chains. You should be having two strips of ribbon for two side chains we will be decorating them one by one instead of using ribbons and studs separately you can also use studded ribbon or lace that way you will save lot of your efforts and i was not able to find one so i used this method now once you have decorated both of your side chains take approximately 12 to 13 inch long strip of ribbon and cut it into two equal parts this will be your arm chain. Now attach one side of your arm chain to your side chain and again make sure that you stitch or stick the ends in such a way that the chain inside the loop is slideable. Next attach other piece of your arm chain to your other side chain. Now you should have two pieces which should look like this. Next decorate your arm chain using glue and studs. Next attach both of your arm chain to your neck chain. So far your body chain should look something like this. You have a neck part on the top, two arm chains, two side chains, one center chain and one bottom chain. Now attach your side chains to your center chain. Apply some fabric glue on this end of your side chain and attach it to the other end of the same side chain. Repeat the same thing for your other side chain. And that's it. Now you have your own DIY body chain. I know it was a little complicated to DIY this, but it's worth it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and it was useful for you in any way. And thank you so, so, so much for all your love and support. It means a lot to me more than you know. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.